300 million Indians don't have access to power. Yep. And it just feels like power is the core of what it takes for a family, a village, a community to move beyond subsistence poverty. What, what's your favorite example of how you know, technology and the right business model can come together to both create sustainable business, yep. uh, but also really lift hundreds of millions of people out of poverty? But perhaps the most obvious example is in electrification. And because of the, the drop in the cost of solar photovoltaics and solar panels, what you're seeing is this recognition that businesses can't grow, economies can't grow if hundreds of millions of people don't have electricity. And in a country like India, the government's already made a bet uh, in public-private partnerships. Even in the villages we're working in, we already see that within six months, 12 months of, of uh, connecting it to the, the mini-grid, you start seeing all sorts of surprising new jobs. So you and I are also working together on health. More than 900,000 children in this very year will die under the age of five. We're doing some work on bringing technology to the task of saving those children's lives. What do you think of that opportunity? So, prevention is so much better than a cure. Yeah. And with outreach, uh, particularly if it's outreach in, you know, combined with some sort, of a, some sort of technology, you can take care of so many problems that, that wouldn't escalate. Yeah. What we hope to do is just be part of partnerships to reduce child death uh, in a structured and effective way to expand power access. So if we can tap into the best instincts and values of people, bring these partnerships together, set real goals, measure results, uh, I think we can deliver extraordinary outcomes over time here.